the message of the Holy Gospel. Joseph and Eliza. 23rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 14 verses 25 to 33. Glory to you, O Lord. Great crowds were traveling with Jesus, and he returned and addressed them. If anyone comes to me without hating his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Which of you wishing to construct a tower does not first sit down and calculate the cost to see if there's enough for its completion? Otherwise, after laying the foundation and finding himself unable to finish the work, the onlookers should laugh at him and say, this one began to build but did not have the resources to finish. Or what king marching into battle would not first sit down and decide whether with 10,000 troops can successfully oppose another king advancing upon him with 20,000 troops. But if not, while he is still far away, he will send a delegation to ask for peace terms. In the same way, any one of you who does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Currently in the Philippines, the prices of commodities and products are increasing. This is alarming for all Filipinos. In situations like this, what do we usually do? Stick to the products we've been using that cost higher? No, right? Because we usually just look for things that cost cheaper. It benefits us more. And we save money while still gaining use of the product. It is practical, beneficial, and advantageous. However, let us keep in mind that compromising applies only to consumers, not in everything. In the Gospel today, Jesus warns us. He keeps mentioning the phrase, cannot be my disciple. It is sort of like a discouraging statement. But he is only giving us hints or signs that the life of a disciple is not easy. It costs us our possessions, time, effort, and even the relationships and ties we have with the people around us. It is difficult and exhausting. Now, just as I said earlier, when there are things that cost us more than what we have to give or keep, what do we usually do? Give up. Look for alternatives. Find another product. Now, are we also going to do that with our faith? Just give up and focus on another thing? To find an answer, let us reflect on the first reading today. Whoever knew your counsel, except you had given wisdom and sent your Holy Spirit from on high, and thus were the paths of those on earth made straight. The heavenly guidance of the Holy Spirit is what we must seek. It gives us the light we must follow to survive and live while carrying the cross. Thank you for watching! Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe!
forget to like, share, and subscribe.